And as he sat upon the mountain of olives, the disciples came unto him, privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For the fifth verse, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. But if I were used for a subject, a topic would be, take heed that no man deceive you. Praise God. And, um, you know, and, and, and listen to this. And because that day and hour is unknown... We ought to watch like good servants, expecting every moment our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ cometh. Okay, and um, the uh, sixth verse says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See ye that be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You see what's happening now. We see what's going on in Ukraine. For a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be phantoms in the, and pestilence and earthquakes and in divers places. It's happening now. So many diseases. We had the disease already, the COVID-19. Praise God. And it's famine in the land. There's no food. Praise God. Look what's going on. You can see what's going on. Praise God. These are the times. This is what Jesus is speaking about. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. They hate, they hate us because we're children of God. Russia's not our friends. Putin is not our friend. He's our enemy. And all of those that agree with him, they are enemies too. Even right here, it's sad to say, but right here, even in America, you got some of these people, they've gone along with Putin. Are they crazy? The former president of the United States even saying that Trump, you know what I mean? Come on. He said... He said this would never happen if he was president. Sure it wouldn't happen because he would probably would have gave Korea, uh, Ukraine right over to him. <laughs> Praise God. And then shall many be offended. We, a lot of people being offended now. You, 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 got, you got to be careful what you say. In the church, out the church, on your jobs and street. These people, they, people uh, it's so easy to be offended. It don't matter. They not even, even people you think that's supposed to be rooted and grounded in the word of God. And praise God, and they, you know, and speaking tongues and you know, and everything. And you look and say, Why are they so offended? I didn't say nothing. I didn't. It's so offended, stupid stuff. You know, it's really ridiculous. And shall hate one another, and they hate one another. There should not be even me being named among saints. We should not hate one another. We should love one another. Praise God, the world hate one another. But we should love one another and, you know, and, and speak to one another, call one another and see how they're doing. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. It's a lot of false prophets out there now. They prophesize on you and tell you this and tell you that. And, and when it don't come to pass, you know, they say, did it, did it come? Did you get it? Did you get this? No. You got to be careful what you say. I'm not a prophet. I stay in my lane. I'm not a pastor. I stay in my lane. We got one pastor, one leader. Praise God. We got a system pastor. Praise God. And I recognize him too. And I recognize his wife. And I recognize Sister Willie too. We got to stay in our lane. And because iniquity shall abide, the love of many shall wax cold. Look at that. The wax cold. Where's the love? Where's the love at? But he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved. When you endure to the end, you shall be saved. This is what Jesus is saying. And this gospel of the kingdom yes, yes. shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. 
This is when Jesus said, then shall the end come, praise God. And the 36th verse says, of Matthew the 24th chapter says, but of that day and hour, no man know, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Jesus don't even know when he's coming back. He don't even know. But he will know when the father will tell him it's time for to come now. Pastors preached last week, praise God. Praise God. Noah preached one sermon. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I've been telling people, God is coming back. Jesus is coming back. I keep telling them, Jesus is coming back. That's all he said. Jesus is coming back. He's coming. He's coming. Don't think he ain't coming. He's coming. He's coming. It's going to rain again, praise God. But it's not going to rain with water no more. It's going to rain with fire. Praise God. It's stored up. Praise God. He's coming back. He's coming. And the 37th verse says, But as the days of Noah were, see? As the days of Noah was, also the coming of the Son of Man be. So Noah preached back then. He told him. And he was working on the ark, him and his family, praise God. But he still kept, his, he still kept the word of God in his heart, praise God. Because David said, I have hid the word in my heart that I might not sin against thee, praise God. Praise God. I tell you, God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And I go to a background scripture, praise God. Matthew 15, praise God. Matthew 15th chapter, praise God, in the ninth verse. And it reads as this. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines, for commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, hear and understand. Now that which goeth into the mouth defile a, a, a man, that found not a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth defileth a man. It's not what's in you, praise God. It's what's come out you was going to defile you, praise God. You're going to speak cusses, cuss words or whatever, praise God. You're going to be saying all kinds of simple things, praise God, that's coming out your mouth. It ain't what's in you, praise God, but go in you, praise God, that defile you. It's what's coming out your mouth. Cuss words, praise God. You speaking evil against your brother. You speaking evil against your sister. You speaking evil against your loved one. Praise God. You speaking all this, all this simple stuff. And then the 12th verse says, Then came his disciples and said unto him, Know thou that the Pharisees, now listen to this, the Pharisees were offended after they hear this saying. Now listen to what Jesus says. But he answered and said, Every plant which which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. Praise God. He didn't, it's going to be another plant, but God, gonna, the father's going to root that plant up. He's going to root that evil plant up, praise God. And look what the 14th verse says. Let them alone. Jesus said, let them alone. Leave Trump and them alone. Leave them alone. Leave Trump and them alone. Leave them Republicans alone. And some of them Democrats, the two Democrats, always making a, a, a fuss over things. Praise God. Cinnamon and um, Manchin, praise God. They're always throwing a boomerang, praise God. But I'm going to tell you something. He said, leave them alone. He going to fix it. When God fixes it, it is fixed. Because God got a divine judgment. 